You know, I've noticed that most of my videos have connected either to a current topic or a relevant historical moment, but it's been a while since I've just made a video that has no context whatsoever to it. Not a series, just something for fun. So that's what I'm going to do today. So please just don't get too heated in the comments about this topic. It's not that big of a deal. To start off, we need to look back at the COT being brought up into the Cup Series in the first place. If you looked at the title of the video, you know why we're looking at this. Throughout the testing and designing process, there were concepts tossed back and forth between the wing and the continuation of a rear spoiler. But by the end of the 2006 season, NASCAR elected to go with the rear wing. And in 2007, with the car's release, many in NASCAR's fandom absolutely hated how it looked. But with two good finishes opening up the tenure, fans would learn to accept it. From the partial schedule in 2007 until the opening races of 2010, the wing was a staple in NASCAR. Disgust from fans was high, but there still was a lot of support. Overall, like all things with NASCAR fans, this was a move that was divisive. Some positives of the wing were that it looked different and it opened up NASCAR to a younger group of fans who favored the look. But looks can only go so far. The big test for the wing would be the racing itself. This wasn't perfect, to be honest, but it had its moments during the tenure. Great finishes, like I talked about earlier, were some of these moments, but there also was some damn good racing during the wing era. At tracks like New Hampshire, Michigan, and other intermediates at that. There was also a big downside, though, to having the wing. like that wing acts as a to help to lift the car up lands on kevin harvick's hood Put that down the roof flaps deploy flipping when the old wing cot would be turned backwards air would catch underneath the wing and create liftoff between the vocal outcry from fans who didn't like it to begin with and the growing safety concerns, the familiar spoiler would have to be brought back after only five races in 2010. So from Martinsville in 2010 through the end of the 2012 season, Cup used the spoiler for the COT. This is a change that's remained on NASCAR race cars even up to this day. In this time, NASCAR also did have one of its greatest seasons ever in 2011. This season alone, keeps this half of the COT era shining in our ever nostalgic minds as NASCAR fans. Add to this some of the craziness at the end of 2012 and plenty of fans are just hooked on this style of car. But what's different alongside the wing being gone is the front bumpers. There was the exposed splitter look that the final 31 races of 2010 had as well as the thicker front bumpers that were used in 2011 and 2012. The 2010 looks general consensus was that it just looked weird. While fans loved the spoiler being back, it just was off-putting. Some liked it though, but when the bumper was brought back over the splitter, people really loved the look. This looked like what people would think of as a NASCAR race car, and personally, I think it was designed to vaguely resemble the Gen 4 race cars, especially the plate cars. Just from anecdotal evidence, I can say that this immediately is what I thought when I first saw this type of car for the first time. Over the 2010 and 11 off season, I kind of just unplugged from NASCAR news. So when I turned on the first Daytona practice sessions in 2011, I legit for a second thought that the COT was gone and the Twisted Sister was back. I gotta say, overall, this was a damn good looking race car. So which of these being brought forth would I choose to be the better variant, wing or spoiler? I'm personally gonna be going with the spoiler COT from 2011 and 2012. This car, in my opinion, just looks like a simplistic and beautiful race car. Add to it, some of the biggest moments for myself as a NASCAR fan came from these years, and you can probably see that this is going to take the crown for me simply from nostalgia, as well as it looking really freaking cool. Overall, I just love looking back at the COT era because 
it's just so crazy with all the changes going on, especially with the cars. I really don't think NASCAR radically changed their cars this much since like the 60s or 70s. I mean, it's insane if you look at that small span of time, just how much change occurred. But I can go on about this stuff all day long, so I'm going to just stop here. We're going to get to it another time because trust me, the COT era is just fascinating. At this point though, I want to pass the subject now on to you. Which COT variant do you prefer, wing or spoiler? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content. And until next time, have a good one.